Light L16, an engineering marvel in the field of photography. It accommodates 16 lenses along with 16 camera sensors. You will be surprised to know that it has 5 28mm, 5 70mm and 6 150mm lenses and each was paired with individual sensors. Despite having so many camera components, this weird looking camera had a form factor just like a smartphone. However, such a wonderful camera gadget with all the high-end features ultimately resulted in failure in the camera market. But what went wrong with the Light L16? The Light L16 was developed in order to help photojournalism remain inconspicuous. Oftentimes, photojournalists have to work in situations where a visible camera might cause a threat to them. Besides, carrying a bulky DSLR or mirrorless camera might also hinder the speed of their workflow. Considering all these factors, many photojournalists were switching to iPhones and other smartphone alternatives for their small form factor. Because of their size, it was easy to conceal. Moreover, they were easy to use and that facilitated faster workflow for fast-paced scenarios. But there was also a trade-off in terms of quality. Those smartphones and iPhones couldn't match the quality and details that a DSLR or mirrorless camera was able to produce. And this is where Light L16 promised to contribute. As mentioned earlier, the Light L16 had the form factor of a smartphone, but it has 16 lenses as well as sensors to provide tack sharp images with adequate depth of field. It also promised to perform faster just like a smartphone while maintaining the quality. But the biggest question is, did L16 perform up to the mark? Though the L16 promised to provide a superb quality image, but in reality, it frustrates in many ways. To explain the image quality of the L16, here is a sample image. This image shows Aaron Wilson's mountain photography which was published in the Light's own blog post. And by looking at the image, there's something that is not quite right about this image. To understand what's wrong here, we first have to understand how L16 is used to produce an image. It had 16 lenses of different focal lengths along with 16 sensors. It produced the final image by stitching all the images captured by different sensors. Now let's talk about the mountain picture. It looks different as it has a varying depth of field in it, to which our eye is not quite used to. If you take a look at the feet, it is comparatively sharper. But as you go up and look at the face, you will find that the face is blurry. Again, if you take a look at the mountains in the back, the mountain trees, it seems like they are melting down. So in terms of image quality, it is definitely not a professional quality image that might bring a photojournalist the Pulitzer Award. Now let's discuss the ease of use of this camera. It is important for photojournalists to maintain the authenticity of the images they capture. Post-production editing makes the images questionable and those looking for winning the Pulitzer Award mustn't apply any post-production to their images as it is prohibited. But unfortunately, the Light L16 couldn't provide a usable final image without going through post-production. The Light camera had an editing software called Lumen, and users needed to go through the editing process through Lumen to get a final image. Of course, the camera could produce a JPEG image right out of the camera, but the quality was so poor that it couldn't be used as a photojournalistic image. Moreover, the app was slow because of stitching and other complex processes it had to go through to make a final image. In short, the Light L16 failed to deliver what it promised and its selling proposition was proven to be wrong. Neither was it capable of producing better images than iPhones and other high-end smartphones, nor was it easy to use. And all this ultimately resulted in the failure of this futuristic looking camera. However, the idea was innovative and had the manufacturers put a little more effort into making a better product rather than aggressive marketing. It would have changed the field of photojournalism in many ways. If you have any opinion about the Light L16 camera, let us know in the comments section.